Hey guys, today I'm going to share with you a bunch of workout ideas that you can do when you're locked down, when you're in quarantine, when you can't go anywhere. All right, we are right now, we're at my blacksmithing shop where I make the most effective edged weapons and self-defense tools in the world. You guys have seen the shop tour. What I haven't shown you is that I also have a home gym type setup here in my shop. It's not really a home gym, it's all outdoors. So it's even easier to build, okay? If you don't have access to metal, if you're not a you know, awesome metal fabricator building, you know, crazy four by four trucks and, and all kinds of knives and self-defense tools like I am, don't worry, okay? I'm gonna make this easy for everybody. I'm gonna show you guys workouts that absolutely anybody can do. I'm gonna go over equipment that you can have at your house that's cheap and easy. Then, for those of you that are a little bit more advanced, I'm even gonna show you some stuff that you can build and set up, okay? This is not in fact a workout in and of itself i'm going to go through a bunch of different exercises that you can do if you're interested in having me as a professional strength and conditioning coach write you a workout i can do that go to bonetactical.com go to the strength and conditioning section fill out the questionnaire okay that's how you begin it's free to start if you don't want to have me write you a custom workout the next workout i can recommend is the dan john 10,000 kettlebell swing workout which brings us into the, the first and most important item that you can have if you are not able to go to a gym. The number one thing you can use to work out, the most versatile piece of equipment, if you had to choose only one thing, what should it be? The kettlebell. Okay, so we're about to talk kettlebells, but before we do, let me talk to you a little bit about something that needs to be done before every single workout, okay? And that's the warm-up. You've probably seen the warm-up in other videos, but I'm gonna really quickly show you the warm-up. All right, it goes neck, core, then you wanna do your arms and legs, depending on what you're working. But I'll show you really quickly, this is the warm-up that I recommend doing. Starts with head up and down, side to side, all the way around. Body twists. Side to side. Upper body warm up. Small circles going to big circles. Rotator cuff. Chain breakers. Leg swings. Front to back and side to side. Walking toe touches. Hamstring pulls. You can get a lot more in depth with that, but that's the essentials right there. You wanna do a little bit more, about 30 seconds or 30 reps for each exercise. You wanna make sure you're always doing dynamic warmups, never doing stretching before a workout because it decreases sport performance and won't allow you to get as good of a workout in. Now let's talk about the kettlebell swing. Guys, if you're CrossFitters, it's better to just leave the channel right now. I actually am a professional strength and conditioning coach, NCAA experience, got my CSCS, coach some of the top athletes in the world, and have had the pleasure of working with some of the greatest strength and conditioning coaches of all time. This in particular, again, I would like to recommend that you check out Dan John for your kettlebell work. DanJohn.net, I believe it is. Just Google Dan John and you'll find him. But right now, I'll show you the kettlebell swing. It's a posterior chain movement, okay? That means it works everywhere from the calves all the way up the serrator spinae, the glutes, hamstrings. What you don't want to do is go all the way above your head. You want to keep tension on the posterior chain and you want to get an explosive movement up, very similar to a power clean, an Olympic lift, and then very explosive movement down. Let's talk you through it. Feet shoulder width apart. Unlock the knees and then lock them in. They don't move from that uh, from that slightly bent position. This is a hip hinging movement. Okay, guys, the knees don't bend during the workout at all. I'm hinging here, and this is what the movement looks like. But I'm doing an arm swing with it, so I'm throwing it up, throwing it down, throwing it up, throwing it down. That's it. None of this, no unlocking and locking the knees. There's no squatting with it. That's it. 
That's the kettlebell swing. Why is the kettlebell so versatile? Because you can do so much stuff with it. You can do goblet squats, okay? You can do military press, okay? You can do bicep curls. You can do triceps. You can do straight leg deadlifts. Or RDL. You can do get ups. You can do any quantity of items that you can invent with a kettlebell. Let's move on. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about every guy's favorite workout, the bench press. What does the bench press work? works shoulders a little bit depending on the the more incline that you are the less incline is the chest more chest and less shoulders it works the triceps okay it's a uh, great for just upper body bulk builder what can you do if you can't build your own bench like i built you can just do push-ups okay you can do push-ups with a weighted vest you can do clapping push-ups or explosive push-ups lots of options guys this is, bench is very easy to build, it's just a slab of wood and some welded tubing. The bar that you see behind me is two and a half gallon buckets filled with concrete and then a bar in the middle filled with concrete also equals about 135 pounds. Then I've welded adapters on there so I can put carabiners and put brake drums to add more weight. Okay, I've got two different bars. This is a smaller bar. I'll show you guys first. And so the bar equals about 135 pounds plus the brake discs. I've got four brake discs on there. Two of them are about 20 pounds. Two of them are about 30 pounds. So you can do the math if you want, but this is the bench press. Okay, squats. Squats are an absolutely essential lift, guys. Multi-joint movement, you always wanna start with your multi-joint movements like squats and bench press. You can do military press with this bar, okay? You can do curls with this bar. You can do hang cleans or power cleans with this bar and in this area. You can do overhead squats, you can do snatch, you can do front squats, but the squat is probably the most important out of all of those, especially for beginners. It's shown to raise free testosterone levels in men, and it's really just a great mass builder, testosterone booster, gets you really going, and, and it's great for getting those gains in early stages of your, when you're first working out, and then it's necessary for maintaining strength as you continue to lift and become a more experienced lifter. Deadlifts, guys, are just as important as squats, but they hit the back and they hit the posterior chain as well. Hamstrings, back, okay, really great mass builder. Something that every workout, absolutely every workout should have included is deadlifts, just as well as squats, as well as pull-ups, as well as a push, as well as a hip hinge, knee bend, all that stuff, okay? Again, more info from Bone Tactical Strength and Conditioning but built this myself metal bar filled with concrete two five gallon buckets on the side so this one weighs about 300 pounds about 315 and i can also add weight just like the other bar now the number one exercise that you can do for your back is pull-ups these should be fairly easy for you guys to do, you should be able to find out where to do it, have a partner spot your legs if you need help, or use a rubber band. Go for 30 overall, or you should be able to get 10 at a time, so three sets of 10 is real easy. If you can do more than 10, throw a weight vest on or add some weight. Okay, another great upper body builder. Works about the same muscles, hits a little more triceps that you can do almost anywhere is the dip, guys, okay? You can do it in any kind of an area where there's handrails that meet at an intersection like this. You can get in between the handrails and do it, or you can build your own like I did very easily. So
Something you can do for back is bent row. It's one of my favorites. I got a, obviously I built this out of a Ford nine inch rear end and some wood with a chainsaw. That's about it, that's all it took. Real quick and easy. I've got things on this where I can clip in the brake drums if I need to to make add weight. I can do bent row, I can do straight leg deadlift. There's a lot of options that I can do with this, but I'm gonna show you bent row right now. Okay, a lot of you guys recently have said, Bone, I can't run. What can I do for my cardio? I can't really go outside. I can't, you know, go around town. I can't go to the gym. What can I do for my cardio? Oh, man. I was in the best shape of my life when I was kickboxing and never ran, okay? Best shape of my life cardiovascular-wise. I fought at about 215. I'm 265 right now, guys. I walked around still about 240 in those days, 230, 240, but I would cut for a fight. It's very easy to get a kickboxing workout in. You guys don't have to know all of the moves. Just, you can jump rope. You can see this jump rope behind me. There's a lot of stuff you can do with that. If you guys wanna know more about kickboxing and wanna know more about fighting and throwing punches and throwing kicks and uh, movements and stuff like that in martial arts, if you wanna see more of that, let me know. I can put some more videos up like that. I put some up in the past and I didn't get the huge amount of traction, so I just didn't do a, a whole lot more of my training videos. I've got a kickboxing video up here on the channel going through a full workout of that. So check it out if you want, comment below, questions, comments, but let's finish it out with a little bit of cardio, hitting the bag, some bag work, and there's really no kind of cardio like bag work, guys. Thanks for watching, bone out.